was quiet as can be. It was a beautiful day. But then something very unexpected happened. We really didn't have a way out. My parents were born in Lebanon, and my brother and I were born in the U.S., and so they always wanted to make sure we were connected to our heritage. So my parents took my brother and I on a summer vacation to Lebanon when I was 16. Beirut in the summertime is a really fun place to be. Beautiful water, uh, white sand. A friend of ours had a rooftop that we would go to. The roof overlooked all of greater Beirut, and then you got the beautiful coast in front of you. I mean, it was just a dream. But then on July 12th, the war between Israel and Lebanon started. I went to bed, excited for the beach, and then the next morning I was told that there was a war going on. Where do you hide? How do you get out? The airport has been bombed, so we really didn't have a way out. My husband and I had lived through the civil war in Lebanon. I really didn't want her or, or solely my son to, to even, um, even know anything about it, you know, or, or be in that situation. And there we were. My mom got a phone call from her manager at GE. She tells me about this evacuation plan that GE was putting in place. They were organizing a bus that would get us out of the country by 4 a.m. There were armed vehicles in the front of the bus and in the back of the bus, and an armed security personnel on the bus with us. We headed north. That was the only way for us to get out. We didn't talk much on the bus. I was scared to the point I was just trying to, to hide. You would see craters where a bomb had dropped or a bridge was blown up. Finally, when we got to the northernmost bridge that we had to cross up to get into the border with Syria, that bridge was, I think we all closed our eyes and, and prayed really hard that we could cross that bridge. I remember looking out the window and um, kind of holding my breath and thinking, you know, if we tip one way, this might be it. I, until now, I think back, and I have no idea how we were able to cross that bridge. Yeah, probably the longest few minutes of my life. Yeah. We got to the Jordanian border, and it was the middle of the night. Um, it was a little chaotic. There were buses everywhere and cars. Um, luggages were being checked. Eventually, our bus was able to get through. It wasn't until we hit the city with the lights and knowing that there was civilization around us, I could breathe a sigh of relief. I think we're all excited to be back home. It was a, it was a long journey, a stressful journey. We got home and we pulled up and, uh, you know, there was a big sign on the garage door. And to welcome us home. And that all leaves an impression on you. And I mean, what happened in Lebanon and, and, and how the company stepped up it made me feel safe again, I think. And nice to know that someone, someone out there was looking out for us, that someone out there cared. <laughs>